Hi, my name is Heidi. My name is Sarah. And my name is Amy. And we're going to be doing the experiment luminal synthesis. Okay, so we have the first step. Heat the 100 ml water on the hot plate. So following by the second step, we have the 4.2 grams of the 3 nitro acid. acid. Okay. with 8.8 .8 ml of the 8% hydrazine solution. So we're going to combine the um, the two in a 100 ml of brow bottom flask. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna heat it in a film hole and until the um, solid dissolves. After six minutes, it dissolves. Now we're Add adding 12 ml of triethylene glycol to the reaction mixture and increasing the temperature to 210 Celsius. Um, now we're allowing the mixture to reach a temperature between 215 and 220 degrees Celsius and to maintain this temperature for two minutes. So now it turned from colorless to a little bit light yellow. After a few minutes, it turns from light yellow to light orange, and now the temperature is 180. So after a couple minutes later, it turns brown, and the temperature is on 204 degrees Celsius. Okay, now the temperature is reaching 215 degrees Celsius, and uh, we're going to wait two minutes until it maintains that temperature. After two minutes, we have to cool the mixture down to 100 degrees. After two minutes for maintaining the temperature at between 215 and 220, we have to um, cool down the mixture to 100 degrees by raising the stopping up. After letting it cool down until 100 degrees Celsius, we add 60 ml of hot boiling water to the mixture. Then we cool down the um, round bottom flask in the tap water. Now we are cooling the round bottom flask in a beaker of cool tap water. So now we are separate the nitro compound using a vacuum filtration. After that we're gonna return to the reaction vessel. After few after the vacuum filtration we have to put back the solid into the raw bottom flask. After returning the solid back into the round bottom flask we are adding twenty milliliters of 3 molar sodium hydroxide while stirring. Afterwards, we're adding 12 grams of sodium dicyanide to the reaction vessel. Now we are heating the reaction 
until complete until it boils and we're going to continue to heat for five minutes. Once the reaction has started uh, boiling, we have to wait five minutes. After allowing the reaction to cool for five minutes, we are now going to move it and put it on the small cork ring to allow cooling. Now we are adding 8 ml of glacial acetic acid to the reaction mixture. Altering now the reflux solution that we did. We are dissolving our crop of moist luminol in 4 milliliters of 3 molar sodium hydroxide and 36 ml of water for stock solution A. Now I am adding 4 milliliters of 3 molar sodium hydroxide to our dissolved moist crop of luminol. Now I am adding 36 milliliters of water. And we are stirring to dissolve the luminol. Now we are preparing stock solution B. We are adding 8 milliliters of potassium arsenide and 8 milliliters of hydrox hydrogen peroxide. We're adding 64 milliliters of water, deionized water, and then we're mixing it, and this is stock solution B. This is stock solution A after dissolving our moist crop of luminol. Now we are diluting 10 milliliters of stock solution A and adding 35 milliliters of water. And this is what it is. <laughs> Neon blue. Our flowers are flowing.